I hope you like making baskets because Gunbreakers are arguably the most weave heavy tank in the game, which is really funny because I just said the same exact thing about Dark Knight. I also said that Dark Knight is the tank you play if you want DPS, while Gunbreaker is the tank you play if you want to DPS, but you also don't want a tank. Someone at Square Enix must really, really like Gunbreaker because this class is absolutely insane. So strap in and let's go over their abilities. First of all, Gunbreakers get Cartridge Gauge, similar to Warrior and Dark Knight. You spend this on your damage abilities. With that being said, the first abilities I want to go over, we have our 1-2-3 combo, Key Nye with 170 potency into Brutal Shell. 270 potency. Brutal Shell also heals you for 200 potency and gives you a shield equal to the amount that you healed. This goes into Solid Barrel with 360 potency, which also generates one cartridge. For AoE, we have Demon Slice with 100 potency into Demon Slaughter with 150 potency. Demon Slaughter also generates one cartridge. You'll use these for two targets or above. So now let's talk about what you spend your cartridges on. First, we have the Burst Strike with 380 potency. This will allow you to weave Hyper Velocity from Continuation. Continuation is a placeholder skill that turns into one of four off GCD abilities. Now, Gnashing Fang combo costs one cartridge and has 30 second cooldown. This cooldown is also reduced by skill speed. Now, this is where those three other continuation abilities come in. After Gnashing Fang, you'll have one ability weave followed by Savage Claw, another weave into Wicked Talon, and onto another weave. I told you this job is very weave heavy. Next ability I want to go over is Double Down. This is an AoE with 1200 potency dealt to the first enemy and 15% less for the remaining. This ability is also a part of your single target rotation and has a base cooldown of 60 seconds. Faded Circle is your AoE cartridge spender. It has a 300 potency. Lightning Shot is your range attack with 150 potency. Gunbreakers have two dots, being Sonic Break with 60 potency over 30 seconds, and Bow Shock, which is off GCD and an AoE skill. Bow Shock does 150 potency and applies a 60 potency dot for 15 seconds. Rough Divide is your gap closer with two charges and a 30 second cooldown. Blasting Zone is another off GCD ability with a potency of 720 and a 30 second cooldown. Now for your buffs, there's only two. You have No Mercy, which increases your damage by 20% for 20 seconds with a 60 second cooldown. This is what your main burst windows revolve around. 120 second cooldown, you have Bloodfest, which immediately caps your cartridges, so save this for those two minute burst windows. Now for defensives, first we have Aurora with a 200% potency. It's going to be heal over time effect for 18 seconds with a 60 second cooldown. You get two charges and you can cast it on anyone you want. Next is going to be Camouflage. It reduces your damage taken by 10% for 20 seconds and gives a 50% parry rate for 20 seconds. This is good for autos or stacking with tank busters. Nebula is the traditional 30% damage reduction for 15 seconds. Heart of Corundum, this is a big one. 25 second cooldown, it grants damage reduction for 15% for 8 seconds. It also grants clarity of Corundum. If under the effects of Brutal Shell, which you get Brutal Shell from your 1-2-3 combo, you're probably going to be under Brutal Shell. This reduces your damage taken by an additional 15% for 4 seconds. It also grants Catharsis of Corundum, which restores HP when falling below 50% for 900 potency. This, again, is one of those abilities you want to weave in with something like Rampart or Nebula for those big tank busters. Heart of Light is literally just Dark Missionary for DKs. It reduces match damage taken by 10% with a 15 yard radius with a 90 second cooldown. Last ability is Super Bulleye. This is your invul and this one drops you to 1 HP, but you don't take any damage. This is very similar to Hollowed Ground for Paladins. And like always, the rest are role specific, and as I already have a tank guide out, I will be brief. Rampart, 20% damage reduction with 90 second cooldown. Reprisal, reduces damage taken by 10% with a 60 second cooldown. And Arm's Length, gives slow to non-boss enemies with a 120 second cooldown. Now before I get into the rotation, I want to invite you to hit that like button. It lets me know I'm doing a good job and it helps me out in the algorithm. Thanks for that and uh, now let's get on to the rotation. The base opener for Gunbreakers, it is surprisingly simple. You're going to open with your 1-2-3 combo, pot on the second GCD. After your third, weave in No Mercy and start Gnashing Fane. Weave Bloodfest and Jugular Rip into Double Down. Weave Blasting Zone and Bow Shock into Sonic Break, weaving in your first Rough Divide. After that, we're going to finish our combo by casting Savage Claw, weaving Abdomen Tear and Rough Divide into Wicked Talon, weaving in Eye Gouge. After that, cast Burst Strike into Hyper Velocity and finish with another 1-2-3 combo. Now that's just the standard opener. There are two more on the balance website that I will link to you in the description. However, for the purpose of this guide, I don't think it's necessary because they are very situational. Now, as rotation goes, mostly the same as the other builder spender tanks. Pull your resources for your buff windows. In this case, every minute with no mercy while avoiding overcapping. Make sure you're using your dots and cooldown as well as blasting zone. 
as well as gnashing fame because of that 30 second cooldown. Make sure you're maximizing your usage of that. As far as consumables go for food, it's sunset carrot nibbles and strength potions. For your stat priority, it's item level over crit, over speed, over direct hit, over determination, over tenacity. And as far as gearing or materia goes, I'm going to say what I usually say. For that, I'm going to consult the balance or the internet or the tank gear manager because there are so many different builds out there. And for Gunbreaker in particular, there are a few builds that will depend on which race you picked, which is very surprising for this game. So it'll be in the description below. Be sure to consult that because there's way too much information there for me to do any justice because let's be honest, I'm lazy. Do another thing I want to point out, another resource you can use. I mentioned this briefly in my Paladin guide. Um, if you want to go to FF logs and go on the timeline feature, you can see what other people are doing for specific encounters. This is always useful, especially because Gunbreaker does have those different rotations. It's very similar to Paladin in that regard. So that's one resource you can use. I'll link FF logs in the description below. Other than that, that's pretty much it for Gunbreaker. Definitely one of the more difficult tanks to learn, in particular with encounters, because you're doing so much weaving, you have to really pay attention to your rotation. It is also the tank I have played the least of. Uh, that's not really by choice. Um, I, whenever I, I get to tank, someone else already, has already picked Gunbreaker. So I just never got the opportunity. This is also the last of the four tank guides I've done on this channel. I'm not going to do a big Paladin guide because it's changing in like a few months, I'm pretty sure. So that would be a waste of time. That being said, Gunbreaker. Yeah, it's a great class. Like I said before, someone at Square Enix is a Gunbreaker main. In the same vein that Yoshi P plays Black Mage, if you play a Gunbreaker, you're probably safe because they just, they have something for this class, I'm telling you. Either way, uh, I want to thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing. Really helps me out. Really lets me know I'm doing a good job. And oh, as always, if I missed anything, feel free to correct me in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and uh, take care.